Yoga. Anybody do yoga? Yeah, you do, yeah yoga. Shit, I do the hot yoga. Now that's yoga been around a long time. Hot yoga, trendy. You know what I mean? And I remember I went to sign up. I signed up at the studio and I, and I talked to the lady at the front. I said, look here, ma'am, I want to sign up in the yoga classes. She says, well, is this your first time? As a matter of fact, it is, ma'am, but I'm really nervous about that because I'm not very flexible. <laughs> so, sir, don't, don't concern yourself. We've got a lot of people coming with that very same concern, but I promise you, if you stick with it and dedicate yourself, before you know it, you'll actually be able to touch your toes. <laughs> touch them? That's awfully ambitious, ma'am. I just want to be able to see them. <laughs> Cause you'd have seen me before this, man. Oh my goodness, that was fat shit. You like, you know you fat when you're snoring and don't even be sleep. <laughs> you just standing there talking to people. <laughs> I wore a belt was a backup in case the button broke. It wasn't holding nothing up. No. no, no. <laughs> but I tell you, yoga's tough, man. Other than that kidney stone past the 09, I ain't done nothing harder in my life than that. <laughs> and I think what's more different about yoga, see, you can't fake yoga. You can fake golf. I mean, you can get there, you can dress nice, like dress to the nines, got your belt, hat, matching shoes, got some good clubs, and bring, play with balls, it shouldn't be like Kobe Wands or something. You know, people will give you the benefit of the doubt on the first four holes, just based on the fact you look good. You can spray the ball all over the place, just tell them you didn't have a chance to warm up. They support you for the next four holes. Not yoga. You can show up with your brand new Manduka mat, with your yoga towel, which I do have. But once they see all this in motion, there was no doubt in their mind that this man was a novice. <laughs> because what makes yoga so tough is even the poses that are supposed to be comforting and provide you a bit of relief, a chance to catch your breath, they're hard as hell the damn self. <laughs> they got the one called the child's pose. You know about that one. I don't know why they call it that. I have never seen a child in my entire life lay in this position. <laughs> Maybe in the ultrasound photo, or in severe cases of autism, but other than that, I, I mean, like, you're on your knees, right? You got your head down with your arm forward or back, depending on your versatility. You know, and I mean, the lady was trying to talk me through it. She said, sir, just go ahead and rest your hips back on the back of your legs. I said, man, can't you see my, my, my stomach's in the way? She come over to help me, release some lats. But she puts her hand on my hip, just gently bring it back, bring it back. I'm like, ow, that's uncomfortable. Please stop. That's enough. Stop. Please stop. stop. That's clean. Stop. That hurts. Yeah. And she just tells me, just breathe. Just breathe through it. Send the breath to wherever it hurts. So, ma'am, I'm trying to send the breath to my lungs. I don't have no extra to be sending to all the places. You're hurting here. It's kind of like yoga needs a safety word. <laughs> like during love making when she get out of hand, you know what I mean? And you're like, okay, honey, stop, that hurts. Okay, I said, quit, I I'm bleeding. Quit, stop. You know? But she doesn't stop because she thinks that's all part of the role play, so we yell pizza. Pizza. That's our word. Pizza. See, yoga needs a pizza. Because it's, it's, it's so difficult, and even when I think I mastered something, I'm looking around the room, nobody looks like I do. Well, there's one, you're supposed to lay on your back, you know, like it's a shoulder stand or something. Of course, I can't get my legs up there. She says, sir, um, this will help you take the yoga block and place it under your sacrum. And I didn't know I had one of those. <laughs> So I put the block in position. I'm looking around. I said, I still can't get my legs up. She says, sir, because that's, you got the block under your scrotum. <laughs> oh. That explains a lot. Yeah. <laughs>